As a young boy growing up in Queens, New York, Ray Demadian enjoyed making things. From model airplanes to erector sets, Demadian was motivated to analyze and solve problems. It's that same thrill of discovery that still guides him today. We're going to be able to image the brain while it's in uh, the anti-gravity position. Curiosity is a major driving force and the same delight that a child has at seeing something new for the first time is always there for somebody in a scientific career. He never imagined though that one day he would invent a machine that would revolutionize the field of medicine. When I got into the scientific arena and, and saw the prospect of developing a new kind of medical machine, um, I enjoyed the prospect of wading right into it and, and getting directly involved in building such a thing. Demadian didn't just wade, he jumped, believing that there was a better way to see inside the human body. And so he set out to develop a machine, which he later nicknamed Indomitable, that could safely and non-invasively offer doctors an accurate picture of the human body in cross-section. But Demadian and his colleagues at Downstate Medical Center in Brooklyn faced a daunting challenge. The principle of nuclear magnetic resonance had been discovered in the 1930s and had been used to examine the physical properties of a variety of substances. But Demadian and his associate Freeman Cope were the first to obtain a scan of living cells. The earliest images demonstrated, as Demadian had expected, that healthy tissue and disease tissue might look very different. Still, few believed it was possible to successfully scan a human being. Going from the first test of experiment to the construction of Indomitable and the first human scan, we had significant numbers of people forecasting that was beyond any prospect of going from a tiny test tube to the human body and overcoming all the technological obstacles. To succeed, Demadian and his colleagues had to build a magnet large enough for a person to fit inside. No small feat. A first attempt at a human scan failed. But in July of 1977, Demadian's assistant, Larry Minkoff, entered Indomitable, and history was made. It was explosive elation. It was almost unbelievable that we got there. To move his innovation forward, Demadian formed Phonar, the company that in 1980 produced the first commercial MRI scanner. Once we had been able to see that scanning the human body was real and could be accomplished, you wanted to be part of that. You didn't want to be just a shoreline observer as the ship sailed off into the horizon. Today, Phonar is involved in new research to enhance magnetic resonance imaging, including the development of an upright machine and an MRI operating room, allowing doctors to view a live scan while they conduct surgery. For Ray Demadian, the creative process is one of tapping into one's natural talents and following one's inspiration toward truth. As an inventor and company executive, Raymond Demadian has drawn on his skills to revolutionize the practice of medicine. By giving doctors an invaluable tool to peer inside the body, his work continues to help save literally millions of lives. We've just you know, scratch the surface. I mean, the potential, the, the, the biggest potential for the technologies yet to come.